is, uh, this is not the first time you've seen this plane. This is not the first time you've seen me, probably, in video. Um, but this might be the first time you've seen me, me in this plane talking on a video. Uh, probably seen me in this plane in, uh, on, uh, Matt Nathlachie's YouTube channel. And Matt, if you haven't, then you definitely need to go over there and check that out because... Uh, other than being kind of a jerk, he does some pretty flying, awesome, some pretty awesome flying videos. And, yeah, kind of knows what he's talking about when it comes to planes. So, yeah, I'm just kind of getting set up to do video properly. Uh, in the Chinook Plus 2, which is what I'm flying. And, uh, I'm sure I will never reach the, you know, fame and stature of Matt McClatchy, but it's entirely worth trying. No, we're just, uh, this is going to be the first run on wheels for the year. Been a lot of snow until recently, and, uh, so yeah, it's a nice, beautiful day. A little bit of a breeze, a little more than I thought there was going to be, maybe five miles an hour, but that's not too bad. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to do a little bit of some circuits here. Probably going to taxi up and down, just check out the runway, make sure things are all right. Uh, starting out. Just check these in steps. I've been flying for about, well, this will be four years, almost to the month, actually. And I have Matthew to blame for just getting me involved in this. Probably my wife hates him more than I do because of that, but... Uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. It's been a bit of a journey. been lots of ups and downs in the ways, and things happen that uh, were unexpected. Um, light training interruption that kind of put me off for a year, and different things like that. But I finally was able to get finished up, get soloed, and get my uh, uh, pilot permit, ultralight pilot permit. So that's exciting. And uh, yeah, now I fly every chance, every chance I get, pretty much. So yeah, I don't think I'll be as as uh, prolific in videos, but I'm going to try to put some things out and give you a different perspective. Matthew really likes uh, his plane, the Beaver. And I'm kind of a fan of the Chinook. I really enjoy the challenge of the tail dragger. And kind of, kind of a skilled guy anyway. So, I like to build skills and do different things like that. So yeah, we're going to do some videos on flying a tail dragger and a Chinook. And you'll probably see lots of videos Matt and I flying together. Um, formation flying and everything else that... He does. We tend to do it uh, somewhat regularly together. All right. Well, things are looking pretty good. I'm just going to taxi up and down the runway. See, I want to go down and see what the grass is like. We got big tundra tires. I like to land on the grass whenever possible. A little bit more forgiving than the asphalt. Woodstock traffic. India Foxtrot November whiskeys and ultralight. And we're going to be taxiing up and down the runway just to check for obstacles and check out the grass. Um, but then we'll be departing uh, runway 31 and uh, staying in the circuit for a bit. Quiz duck. So it looks like there's still a little bit of snow and stuff in a couple spots. I'll have to make sure we avoid that. The uh, snowmobilers like to use this. Well, 
the trail comes right through here, so they use this in the wintertime. So I kind of like to scout it out a little bit before the, when the snow's gone. Find studs and pieces of track and everything else laying around on the runway. Which can be a little bit dangerous, don't want to kick that up into a prop. I see we got some people out here walking around. No problem. As long as they stay clear of the traffic. Pretty wet down here on the uh, on the grass and some snow, so I think I'll probably have to avoid the the grass here today. Maybe by later it might be melted off. It's pretty warm out. It's probably eight degrees Celsius right at the moment. Maybe a little bit warmer. Not leaving any ruts, so I guess that's a good thing. This little bit of grass wouldn't, or uh, snow really probably wouldn't be an issue, but I'm kicking up all kinds of mud and dirt, and wetness all over the place, making the plane all dirty. One of the biggest challenges with the uh, bigger tires, they really like to grab the asphalt, which with the tail dragger makes it even more squirrely on the ground. Now, I'm just going to run the engine up a little bit here. Alright, well, I'm happy with that. Woodstock traffic, India Foxtrot November Whiskey is departing runway 31. We'll be staying in the circuit. Woodstock. It's not perfectly smooth here today, that's for sure. And a little bit bumpy. We're just going to go up here and pass this uh, 
bit of slush. I don't want to hit that. Taxi at a high speed. Boy, she wants to float today. Woodstock driver fucked up the whiskey's final of a 3 1 Woodstock. Yeah, let's see if we can get down and actually get on the ground this time. That was a. It was actually a really gusty day. For being as calm as it was forecast to be, it is really gusty. I need a little, she's a little, a little rusty on the wheels, that's for sure. this way but it's it is swinging back and forth and back and forth so all right let's give it another go foxtrot number whiskey departing on right three one we stop
Blue Stock traffic, Fox Rock, Blue Boys, down wind, runway 31, Blue Stock.